Hey guys, welcome to the Dragon Show. Today we've got an absolute peach for you. Right, we've got in touch with a YouTuber and he's managed to set us up with his own, very own version of lunch balls. I don't even know those, the little kind of school lunch packs you get. Well, this YouTuber got in contact with us. This is a work in progress, by the way. This isn't actually what it looks like. He's got in contact and we're actually going to get a sneak peek kind of review of it. And what's even better is we've got the YouTuber in the studio with us here. Oh, hey! Thanks for having me on, birdie! No problem, Draggy. Thank you so much. Can you remind us, please, what is the name of this packed lunch you're selling? Draggyables! They're like lunchables, but draggy! Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know if it makes any sense, but hey, so thank you so much for coming on. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a little route around in here and we'll see what we've got. Oh yeah, sure, go right ahead. Like I say, it's supposed to be just a better version of the lunchables, you know? Yeah, I believe marketing it as like a sort of better, more organic, Far more expensive version of Lunchables. Yeah, that's right! Getting on that merch grind! Okay, um, I think the first thing we've got in here is... Whoa, it looks to be like chickpeas in a jar? Yeah! I couldn't be bothered to cook them! You could just eat them cold, I guess! Alright, and there's like a tomato sauce at the bottom as well. Oh, really? Full disclosure, I didn't really check what I was putting in that bag! The supplier just gave it to us at a discount, I just whacked it in, you know? Okay, yeah, right. Well, I guess that's healthy. Uh, and, you know, I, I guess kids also just love their chickpeas and tomato sauce. So I reckon this could be a win-win. And how much is this bag selling for, Vera Draggy? Fifty pounds! Fifty pounds? Or, if you're lucky and American, sixty dollars! Okay, yeah, uh, I guess you did your market research. Market research? What's that? Why would I research a market? Well, you know, you see what like what's popular, what's fashionable, and you sort of try to adapt to the market. What? I didn't do that. I just got the cheapest thing I get my hands on, and which I was legally allowed to sell, and I just whacked it in a bag. Okay, cool. I sold out to the highest bidder. Uh, okay, well, that's a weird one, but okay. Now let's see what else we've got in here. We've got this really bizarre... Bernie, show me with a drink! It was really cheap! I mean, organic! Yeah, okay, yeah, because we've got a drink in here. It's a bit weird. Uh, it's, a, it's actually a glass? Uh, so he's already kind of spilled in his bag quite a bit there, Draggy. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess glass is better for the environment. We didn't want to put a lid on it though, that would cost too much. Okay, yeah, and it kind of looks like a apple sprite thing or something like that. It's water! Pfft, why is it green? I got it from Chernobyl! This is water from Chernobyl, it could be radioactive! Oh, put my hand up there. It's from Chernobyl, yes, but it's not from the power plant. Huh. Cool. It's from the recently burst open sewage pipe! What? Dragon, this is sewage? Where do you think untested, unclean water comes from? The sky? What? How else do you think we've got a healthy green glow? Oh man! What? There's gotta be some vitamin or nutrient which you get from radioactive stuff. It's gotta be high in something, that water. Good point there, Draggy. How much is that gonna cost again? Well, like I say, if it's entire pack is gonna cost 50 pounds or 60 dollars, yeah, we just got in contact with a supplier that gave us the cheapest thing we could find, and we charged as much as we could. Apparently, radioactive sewage water from Chernobyl is the cheapest type of water you can get by far! Huh, yeah, you don't say that, Draggy. Okay, the last thing we've got in here, it looks a bit weird. It's the dessert, right? Oh, that's bringing us on to that! Yeah, well, you know, Mr. Beast has his chocolate bar, I think called Feast of Balls or something, I don't really know. To full disclosure, I don't really care. So, this is like the competitor to that! Okay, it looks like a sort of basically eaten apple. Yeah, it's organic! Yeah, I know it's organic, but it's also half eaten. Well, I got hungry when I was packing it, didn't I? Jackie, because there's a flesh left on it, man. Well, I got halfway through chowing down about apple, and then I remembered, actually, I don't really like apples that much. Give me a feast of all chocolate bar any day. Amazing. Okay. And so, are they, I mean, is, are they all going to be like this? Oh yeah! Apart from the paper bag, which is a work in progress, obviously, all of the draggy balls are going to have cold lentils with tomato sauce, waste, sewage, Chernobyl water, and finally, half-eaten apples! How are all of the apples going to be half-eaten? Challenge accepted! How did you, where did you even get that apple from? I found it on the street! You found it on the street? You can't be putting street food in the bag? What? Of course I can! You've never heard of street food before? It's all for rage with all the hipsters! Yeah, it means like it's kind of, you know, street appropriate. You could put it in a food van. It doesn't mean it's literally food from the street. Oh, so it's okay to sell junk food to kids, but suddenly it's not okay to sell street food to kids. Pfft. No, Draggy, not if it's literally from the street. Did I mention it's organic and expensive? Thanks for watching the Draggy Show. Check out this other cool stuff.